social media personality, Daddy Freeze, has taken it upon himself to set an example of a social media user who dropped a distasteful comment on his son's photo shared on Instagram. Daddy Freeze shared a photo of his five-year-old son and an Instagram user with the handle at Danny Young one um, dropped a comment saying, your Montana baby boy go sweet for bed, though. Hmm. The man has been found out to be working with a popular security firm. According to Daddy Freeze, the security firm is expected to make a statement later um, today as he is in talks with them. Um, but the very interesting part of this conversation is that we have Daddy Freeze on the phone to give us an insight on why he felt the need to do this. Hello, Daddy Freeze. Hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Daddy Freeze. Um, so we've been following the story on your Instagram page and we would like to know why you felt it was highly necessary to take this step. Now, um, there are many things, there are many dimensions to this particular story. I will try not to be cinematic about it. Um, instead, I'll rather address the fact that a child was sexualized. A lot of people are uh, of varying opinions saying uh, it was just a post on social media. You see, you can post, you can scroll all you like. There's freedom of speech, yes. But you have to be careful when you are speaking of minors in a sexual way. How can a grown man put a comment that this little child will be good in bed on a picture of a child that is not yet five? I don't know if I'm making sense. Yes, of course. Now, this man, after the investigation, because it took us about an hour to locate him and fish him out, after my investigation, I found out that he works for a security company. The same security company that guards my ethics, and probably yours. I'm waiting for an official statement from the security company. I'm in talks with them. He was picked up yesterday for interrogation by the police. Of course, we are ensuring that his human rights would be uh, taken into consideration. I'm not into abuse of human rights. However, I do not want someone who's supposed to be a security guard to be making comments like that about anyone's children. It doesn't even have to be my child. Anyone at all, be it a boy or a girl, once a child is younger than 18, you have no right to make a sexual comment regarding that child. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, so it's interesting that you said it took you less than an hour to find out this man in question. Um, is yeah. Were the policemen involved? What steps did you take to be able to find this person out? Because sometimes when issues come up, it looks like it takes forever for investigations to be done. So what made it this now, um, um, easy? Those are some of the strengths of social media. The moment his picture came up, the company that he was attached to quickly reached out to me that, look, this guy is not our staff. He works for this um, security company. We're able to get in touch with the security company. And within an hour, he was fished out. So it was more of social media efforts, well-meaning individuals. I know this company. They are this. I know someone who works there. Why don't you read that? So many people reached out to me with useful information. People like Maji Aida reached out to me. He was very angry. He also has a young child of about four. So. People were ready to volunteer information. Look, I think I know this. I know that. Before you know, we're able to put two and two together and arrive at a conclusion. Some phone calls. Within four hours, we're already having a meeting with the security company and the company that was attached to as a security personnel. 
And within six hours, he was already at the police station. But identifying him took about an hour. Um, thank you for that. Daddy Freeze, I, obviously we commend you for um, going all through with this. But I want to find out what your what you hope to be the end result of this. He hasn't necessarily committed a crime. He has obviously revealed his evil intent and that needs to be measured. Um, in a different con um, country or situation, we could say he should go for psychiatric evaluation, check his lifestyle, blah, blah, blah. But I'm not really sure that's gonna happen here. So for you to do all this, we'll commend, but what do you expect from this? Or, or what do you think is gonna happen at the end of it all? Fantastic. Um... My goal is to make sure he does not work near a child who is not allowed to come within a certain range of children. He's not going to be posted as a security guard to a school or an estate. He can watch over a generator or whatever else he can do, but he cannot be around children. You cannot be around children and have thoughts like that running in your head and words like that coming out of your fingers onto a keypad. So my essence is, guys, know this guy. Make sure you protect your children. And whoever is a troll on the internet, you can come for me, you can come for my ideology. The day you come after a minor, that's the day you realize that we take things seriously. When you're trolling, you have to know the limit. How do you troll to the point where you sexualize a child? In a, in more civilized climes, that guy would, would probably even have to be psychiatrically evaluated. Um, now, Freeze, I, a few things come to mind when, because of this situation that just unfolded. Um, unfortunately, I, I, saw, I saw a video of you and your wife and how she, she looks so distraught and traumatized by the whole incident, knowing that this same security man guards your estate. And I, I've been there a few times. I see how the kids come out to play what, what, what is your message to, to parents and their words when it comes to those they allow to come around their kids and these security men walk around the estate in pretext, in context that they're meant actually to be safeguarding, you know, properties and these kids who come out to the playground most times in the estate. What, what, is, what would you say to parents out there? Now, um, beyond even him sexualizing the style, there were so many issues that came up. Apparently, he took pictures that insinuated that he worked for a company he didn't work for. So he was misleading the public with that information. I don't know to what end, but he was. He was also going to places where he had no authority to go into from the meetings we had, even though I'm trying to keep things as confidential as possible because I have faith in the security company to deal with this. But I still have to let you realize that it is dangerous having somebody like that as a security guard. You have little children around. He is abusing the extent to which he's allowed movement to. It, it, it's worrying. I live in an estate where children buy their bicycles, even many have come to my house before. Children ride their bicycles till 11 p.m. at night. The pool is open 24 hours. My kids go to swim at any time. If it's a holiday, we can all decide to, and it's a hot day, we can all decide to go and stay in the pool till 10 o'clock. I don't want, and security guards are passing, and we feel safe. We're in the middle of the night, we're at the pool, and if security guards pass, and we feel safe that, okay, yes, yeah, these guys are doing their work. What if the security guard is passing to see your children in bikinis? So to summarize, what advice do you have for guardians and parents? Do not take any time for granted. It is not just a comment. For him to think that in his mind, I can obviously imagine what's running around in his head. 
Right, thank you. you. you know, just, just before we let you go, Fritz, because um, another issue comes, comes to mind in relation to this, the, the, the Child Rights Act and the, um, the, the Child Not Bride. And you, we live in a country where some, some, some cultural, religious beliefs allow people to get involved with minors, even to the point of making them bride. What, what is your reaction to this? I have, I have a zero tolerance policy for child marriage, um, forced marriages, exploiting children in any way or form as beggars, um, using them to obtain money, uh, abusing children, whatever it is, I have a zero tolerance for child abuse. Not just for my children, for children in general. As far as I'm concerned, children should not be on the street begging. So, yes, there are many religious and um, traditional practices that fund these kind of activities. And it's also, I also see it as part of my duty to make sure that these traditions uh, and religious beliefs that encourage this are done away with. Thank you so much, Daddy Freeze, for your time. And of course, we commend the step you've taken. I will definitely closely um, follow the story to see how far it gets. Thank you very much for that. Okay, so we've heard from the horse's mouth, like yeah. they say, mm. and like I said, even before the show, I'm particularly very impressed um, with the step he has taken. And I think I've also mentioned it on the show that um, I, I, I can't say for sure if there's a country doing this already, but I think there should be a body checking what people put out online and mm. reaching out to them to say, can we have a conversation on this thing you put out because it doesn't sit well yeah. with our yeah. moral standards. I, I don't know if we'll get to that point regarding social media, but I hope that we do. Yeah. I mean, America has already taken a stance in that in terms of visa applications. Now they look at people's posts beforehand, but that's just for visa migration. I yeah. think we even need to get deeper just for like our, just, just be protected on social media. However, I am glad that we have this tool as well so that we can fish them out. Um, there's many people, when you go to Freeze's account, you realize how many pedophiles we have here. Because as far as I'm concerned, if you see nothing wrong with this, you have an issue. If you agree to this, you're just as bad as him, as, in my opinion. And there's quite a number of people saying, he's just joking now, he's mm -hmm. just joking. And I don't know how you can joke about anyone being in bed sexually. Like something, even if it was an adult, like you can't say, oh, I was just joking now. It's like, what, what is funny about that? More or less now a child that's really young. So it's really creepy. It's even more creepy to see the inter the reactions from Nigerians, but I hope that this serves some as some Nigerians. Some Nigerians. <laughs> and I hope that this um, serves as a scapegoat to other people to learn and maybe rewire their their, their thinking as well. Yeah, um, for me, it's just um, yesterday. <clears throat> it, it's just a reality that you know you can't you can't trust your words just anywhere, schools, home, playgrounds. You just can't. You know, and then. Like what kind of society are we finally degenerating into? This is a security man who's meant to protect in supposedly the estate and everybody in it, including the kids. And I, a few thoughts run from my mind. He definitely would have seen this boy a few times at the playground. Mm -hmm. And what kind of thoughts was going through his mind at that point in time? So for those people who felt maybe Freeze was taking it too, too far, and there was one guy, the Coco Foundation guy, if that's what he's called, at um, please temper, um, mercy, with, with justice. justice. I'm like, you don't say that. For that you know, man exactly, you don't question, say that. I don't like, know how you know, he's been embraced a lot in society with you know, what he does, but yeah. I mean, because this is this is, how, this is yeah. how things get out of hand. In the first place, this is how we got to where we are today. Peter Fat failures are calling for their own rights also to allow them that they're attracted to little, to little kids. So we should oh, wow. allow that go through. You know, and so he should definitely be checked. It's not just a comment. Like maybe people want us to believe he was just joking. You don't joke with such. He is a minor. And you rightly said, even for an adult sometimes, there's a kind of word I'll say to you sexually. You, you feel violated and harassed. Yeah. But talking about a minor who's not even five years old, he should be checked. He should go for a psychiatric evaluation. He should check him. And now we've been finding out this said man has been involved in other very not so good activities. He's imposing as a staff of a company he doesn't really work for. He's, he's, there's something wrong with him. There's something sure. wrong with him, yeah. man. He should be checked. Okay.